What's going on everybody? This is the last NASCAR fan here and welcome back to some more diecast reviews. Uh, especially for promo diecast reviews, this is going to be a bit of a two-part diecast review. This is going to be on the first variant of the promo, as you all know, of Michael Waltrip Racing. The thing though is that most people recognize Michael Waltrip Racing from the 2007 year perspective with the whole rocket fuel, jet fuel controversy, as well as the team's failure throughout 2007. However, some people, like you youngins, young, youngins <laughs> don't know that Michael Waldrop Racing actually started in the year 2001. And they actually had Chevy and Dodge fielded teams from 2001 all the way to 2006 before joining with Toyota Racing with TRD in 2007. And one of these promos we're going to be looking at today is the 2004 uh, Kenny Wallace Dreams Come True at Aaron's Chevrolet Monte Carlo for Michael Waltrip Racing. So this car came in a two-pack with a Michael Waltrip Bush Series uh, version. Same exact paint scheme, except this is the Cup Double zero that Kenny Wallace would drive. The only Kenny Wallace 164 for the Cup Series, for his Cup, for his part time Cup season for Michael Waltrip Racing. And uh, supposedly this was driven at the Aaron's 499 at Talladega in the spring, where uh, Jeff Gordon had his car showered with beer cans from Dale Jr. fans. How lovely. Paint scheme itself is um, a bit of like a nighttime dream pattern. I love how it looks though, the night sky with the dark blue as well with the clouds and the lines with the clouds, pretty nice. Unfortunately when I picked this car up, uh, the seller ended up coloring in the rims, making it so making it silver rims instead of the black wall uh, rims, so it kind of sucks but I don't really mind because I think I like the silver rims a little bit more on this car, it just looks way better. Other than that, though, um, contingencies all around, Snoko, Wix, Edelbrock, Gitterback, Comp, um, Mitsubishi Electric, General Electric, GVC, Dell, Maytag, Phillips, RCA, and Aaron's all over the quarter panel inside. Then you have the Dreams Come True at Aaron's 499 at Talladega, right there on that deck lid. And then on the TV panel is the Aaron's Dream Machine. Logo for the Aaron's retail brand. But yeah, it's a very interesting car, especially for any Kenny Walls collector. Good luck trying to find one of these, though. They're very, very, very hard to find, and they are a must-have for a 2004 complete collection for produced cars. But this was a quick diecast review. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for brand new videos, and I'll see you in the next diecast review. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Keep on collecting.